we've just wrapped up the life of the party. I was doing a, a branding deal with one of our uh, partners and he asked me if I was interested in taking a look at a white girl rapper from Ohio. Bailey, killing everything on the daily. That's how my mama raised me. So quick for the lips of a rip back quick and he beat that you lay me. Blame me for I looked at her for maybe a second and a half and said, definitely. I was working on a project with a friend, being his stylist for a music video. My friend thought it would be cool if I rapped on one of his songs. So he ended up writing me my own song. We realized that I could rap kind of fast. Um, I just thought there was a lot of potential and that her style was very different. It wasn't really formed yet and there was a lot of um, the most exciting and fun part of the business for me anyway. Um, that end of the work is the development work where you're kind of figuring out who an artist is, what they've got to say, what they're going to look like. We filmed the video, recorded it, everything, released it on YouTube and that night within less than 24 hours it had 175,000 views at the Yahoo France front page. Ryan Seacrest Productions. You know, I've worked with a lot of people up until now, but now I'm sitting here and yeah, we just got done filming this amazing video. How you like me now? And you see it's going down. I'd known Steven a little bit and we started talking about this idea and he's just has a real creative and driven energy that kind of made this happen. He just wants what's best and what's more importantly going to work, um, even if it's something that he knows is is a, a little bit further ahead of where the client really is aware, which is a, a, a very particular talent. People think they know what they want. Sometimes I think I know what I want, but the art of delivering a great um, you know film and video product is really to estimate what they really want beyond what they're saying. My name is Stephen Reno, and I am the director of the Bailey Moore Life of the Party music video. I watched all these videos for her, and I was like, God, she's so, she's so cute, she's so like magnetic. Like, you want to look at her, you want to watch her, like you want to be next to her, you want to talk to her. I didn't want her looking down the barrel of the lens, like rapping like she was Tupac. How, how do I capture how beautiful she is and how magnetic she is? And that's what people are going to watch and relate to. First, we got a phone call from Stephen. He got really excited and said, we got this music video and it's in uh, 48 hours and uh, nobody's allowed to sleep and I need my way and give me, give me, give me and blah, blah, blah and hurry up, Randy, why aren't you doing what I'm telling you to do? And then we did the video. Today's been fantastic. I mean, we have a trampoline, we have a pool, we have a lot of beautiful girls in bikinis. We've got a cool guy in a DJ booth with a tiki hut. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more except for maybe a punch bowl and a bunch of old people who turn into cool young people. The idea is that the music video starts off on a uh, on a really boring party, a bunch of elderly folks sort of dancing, playing croquet, doing some really boring things in the sun. And then we come in and crash the party, and uh, we go to the DJ booth and we hang out there, and we're all dancing, and the older couples are all looking at us funny, and and then some of my friends spike the punch. When the elderly partiers start drinking from the punch, they get younger and they join the party. There's one of the elderly people there who is the uh, the pool sweep and uh, he doesn't want to participate, he doesn't want to drink any of the punch. Uh, but he ends up watching his friends and having a really good time, and so he overdoes it, drinks the entire bowl, and uh, at the end of the video, we have a cute little moment where he basically uh, turns into a little boy. My mom was actually in the Your whole family yeah. rocked it. <laughs> My mom, Dr. Johnson's. My mom did a high kick, in the one of the old folks was doing a high kick. That was crazy to see. That like 70, 80 year old women just dancing better than any of us were. It was hot at 10 a.m. 
it was hot at 11 a.m. It was really hot at 12 and 1 and 2 p.m. And then it was even extremely hot around 3 to 5. On this day of the year, and we're in a pool in Tarzana. I think it was the hottest day on record in Southern California, like forever. We had an average, I think, of 105 degrees in Tarzana at the top of the hill. I got a few sunburns to prove it. I've been to Joshua Tree in the high desert. I've been to the Pantanal in Brazil. I think it was probably the hottest day I've ever seen. It was like the hottest day of my life. And heat exhaustion, I think, really uh, affected the crew. God, it was so hot. It was so hot. It would have just been like 10 degrees cooler. Like, it just it would have made the day so much more bearable and so much more fun. And it was fun. It was great. But it was so hot. The fact that we had some elderly folks and how, they, how the heat would affect them, they almost did better than, than some of the younger, uh, younger people. Robert Webb, I'm the director of photography on this uh, on this project. Rob does not hold a loser. Rob does not hold anything back. Oh, fuck! This camera fucking heavy. We're shooting with a Panavision Epic Red package. We have a, a B camera, which is a Scarlet. We're not doing anything too crazy. It's, it's pretty much handheld. Just the objective is to make it look uh, pretty and fun. Sometimes the cinematographer's job is to, to make things just simple. No jobs too small, gentlemen. No jobs too small. Robert, it's craziness. His, he's so talented. Rob is so unbelievably talented on what he does. And he's one of those guys that's very funny because he will, uh, he will tell you when he's happy and when he's not happy. <laughs> Great pieces, man! All right, Great pieces! Where do you wear one? Yeah, it ain't easy trying to start a riot from down. They started off bright and early. We got through the beginning, then we got out to the limo, which was the next section, like limo pulling up. We had to wait for a limo driver to come wasn't there on time. On a production, you know, time is money. Like waiting 20 minutes is not okay. But we had to wait for a limo driver to come to like move the limo. We finally like just moved it without him. Steve and Erwan, Christian, those guys were kind of handling that. I kind of jumped and helped out whatever, whatever they possibly needed. Yeah, I mean like any shoot, there's always some challenges. Um, this one was no exception. We had a really ambitious schedule for a one-day shoot. We had to juggle a few, a few issues and a few things. I feel we we're, were behind. And uh, at one point we had to break, break into two, two, two different teams to uh, accomplish the shots that we needed. We actually had to give up a couple, couple uh, little scenes that we wanted to put in it. But, you know, you have to uh, ante up and move forward with the day. What I really liked, though, is that they made sure we were on top of our shit. Like, the lollygagging around, like, all right, no, you gotta come, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, so. Part of the, the talent of filmmaking is being able to move off of your game plan and still make your day. That was one of the biggest challenges we had. Obviously, we were a little bit short-staffed because, you know, we were trying to do a lot for a, with a very small budget. But I think that's a good thing. I mean, you should always aim for the stars. You, know, you should always try to do your best or do something bigger and better. Otherwise, you're just going to end up doing something generic and boring. Because the great thing is that everybody had a phenomenal attitude. The entire crew, uh, all the extras, the cast, Bailey, obviously, everybody was in a great mood. And it made it a lot easier for us to sort of deal with those challenges that came up. You know, that's really what we we're trying to do. And we're trying to accomplish the decision. Steven's like my third child. Steven is the reason why I got my testicles chopped off. He wants a lot of things for his project. And you know, that's actually what makes Steve a great director. He wants a lot whoa, of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not to carry away. Okay, that's All what right. makes Steve our director? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're telling a story in images, and the more interesting those images are, and the more creative ways that you use images to tell a story, like the more interesting your project can be. He knows and she knows and they know we get this. Everybody knows we run this bar. We know we get this party stuff. We got into the evening time. We got into the party stuff um, in the house. And the party stuff in the house it was great. It was really colorful and bright and summery and fun and happy. And that was really important to me for this song. We were obviously trying to create this house party vibe and bring out Bailey's personality. We had a choreographer, Mike, and he was like showing her moves 
and like teaching of choreography, I wanted it to feel big. And at the choreography, I feel like it gave us something big. Hey, 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 who's the laugh of the party? Hey, hey, we're the laugh. Bailey was great. She was incredibly positive the whole time. She had a great attitude, even dealing with the hot weather. You know, she was real, she was a real pro. And I know she's relatively new to the uh, to the industry. And this is probably one of the bigger shoots, uh, probably the biggest music video she's been on so far in her career. But. She's got the right attitude, and I think her career is going to keep on growing. She's got a really catchy tune. Um, she was a pleasure to work with. Her friends were a pleasure to work with. So, I mean, I have nothing but good things to say about her. I feel like Steven had a tough time working with her because she was taller than him. She was taller than him, and it made it so he wasn't the best looking person on set. Yeah. Working with Bailey was amazing. She was like completely patient. She was a trooper. She never said no. She was never tired. She didn't complain once. She, she was, I think she was loving every minute of it. She really brought it. She really listened. She collaborated. I think the song's catchy. I know that, that you know, Randy, our producer, and his, his kids, like his little kids are in love with it. It's, it was stuck in my head. Fun, catchy song. My kids love it. So. Very catchy, very poppy, just yeah. fun, just a fun listen. I've always been a singer, so I kind of started incorporating a lot of my singing into my songs, and I'm so much more confident about the, the music that, that we've made in these past few months out here in L.A. Every once in a while, a song comes along that's like a soundtrack for that year's summer or the start of school, and I think this song might be that song. When the life of the party Yeah, I man, I love working with Six Digits. Um, hopefully, this you know this is, this is just another project that I've worked on with them, and hopefully there'll be a lot more to come. And this music video, I'm sure, is going to open up even more avenues uh, for Six Digits, and hopefully for me to come on board and and help out with uh, you know my producing skills and so forth. This is just the beginning. Uh, movies will be the future. These guys are the best of the best, and I imagine that very shortly we'll be accomplishing all of our goals. This is something that I've been dreaming about since I was little. I just never thought it would happen. It still feels like a dream. So anywhere that this takes me, I am I will be happy with. It was really awesome working with Six Digits. I really, really enjoyed it. And that is a wrap. It was a great day. And we owe it all to an amazing crew and uh, Randy Johnson. We owe it all to Randy. Um, <laughs>